Hey guys, welcome to Texas Clay Fest 2020. My name is Lucas McCain. I'm here in my Fort Worth, Texas studio and I make functional pots in an electric kiln. Um, today, I'm gonna show you how to make a plate with some textures um, like this. So to start our texture plate, we're gonna to need to um, create a disc on the wheel, just like a pancake, a flat pancake of clay. So I've got about a pound and a half here. This will make sort of like a salad plate size piece. Um, and one thing about throwing is, is um, you wanna make sure that you're spinning your clay the same way that you wedge your clay. So when I wedge, I end up with this kind of um, cinnamon roll looking thing and you might be able to see it's kind of like a hurricane and it's it's spinning um, this direction and so I want to I want to keep it spinning this direction on the wheel my wheel is going to be turning like this so I want the wedging to go the same direction if I turn it over this way I would essentially be unwinding my clay because I'm going to be throwing against the spiral that I created when I wedged. And so you might pay attention to that. When I throw, I don't pat mine into, a, into spheres because I forget which way I was wedging and then it causes problems. So I'm going to start with our clay. I've got it on a round bat that's big enough for my plate. And um, we are just going to create a nice smooth pancake. Start with centering. You can see that I kind of changed my posture. I'm kind of leaning down and I have my elbow up against my hip so that my elbow is not um, banging around when I'm trying to center. You gotta, if you're sitting, you can do the same thing with your knees or the inside of your thigh. And if you're standing, you know, you have to find a way to help your arm out so that you use the whole weight of your body to control that clay. Um, and now we're just going to smooth it out. I'm going to take, sometimes I'll take my fist like this and just smash it down nice and even. If that doesn't feel comfortable, you can take um, just a sponge and a fingertip. We want it to be a little thicker on the, in the middle. It's got a slight dome to it. And then um, we want to go ahead and smooth it out. I'll use this metal rib and just make it nice and smooth. Okay, so this one's a little on the small size, on the small side, um, but if I was doing these, I would make as many discs as I could work through in my work time, and I would set them aside, let them dry just a little bit, and then we're going to move over to our work table and do some textures on them. Okay, guys, so we made our um, disc or pancake on the wheel. And to, before we add texture to this, we need to um, get it the right moisture level. So right now it's leaving fingerprints, it's sticky. Um, I let it dry up for, um, it's been sitting out for a couple hours, but it's humid today. So we're gonna use a hair dryer to, to dry this a little bit. You could do this on the wheel too, to let it spin. We just had a good setup here with the camera so you can see. Okay, so what we're going for, what we're going for with this, I like to have a little bit of a skin on it where it's just not as sticky, 
but we have to leave the clay um, soft so that when we go back to the wheel we can um, manipulate this edge and pull the edge of the plate up. Um, so I feel like this one's about right. This is wetter. This is wetter than you would um, do slab work. With, you would add texture to slab work. You know, you would kind of want it to be a little, a little bit stiff, um, depending on how you were doing it. So because it's a little wet, I need to add some type of um, release agent. So there's a couple things you can use. You can use um, cooking spray, Pam. You can use WD-40, or you can use cornstarch, um, and they all work a little bit differently. I'm gonna use, I'll try a couple of them today and we'll do a couple different textures. So for textures, the reason um, I do, do the textures on plates this way, if I'm gonna attempt this, is because I have a texture I wanna use that's hard to control, say a roller, like this that that um, is hard it would be hard to fit into a perfect clean area of a plate like a circular bottom or a fine rim a stamp if you have a stamp that you can usually control that and you can put it into small places and you can make your patterns but if you have something like a lawnmower tire it's a little harder to control so we're going to try this lawnmower tire um, we're gonna try um, a couple other things and we'll see how they work. So, to put this um, WD-40 on, you can spray it. It can get a little messy in the studio spraying. A lot of times, um, I'll just use a brush and I'll, I'll spray some WD-40 into a container and then kind of brush it on. Okay, and then we're just gonna roll it across. Be nice and steady. And you don't have to worry about um, where you want the texture. I'm just gonna texture this whole thing, but I'm not gonna probably, I'm probably not gonna leave texture on this entire plate. I'm probably going to smooth some areas back up. So we've got a textured pancake, textured disc here. And for this one, I'm going to try this. Um, this is a commercial made roller. Um, I think, I don't remember where I bought this, but you can find different wooden, this is wood, maple. We'll use the Pam. Give it a little spray. For these, um, I like to start on my fingertip and then get a nice consistent roll all the way through. Okay. So now we've got a textured disc with this little floral pattern. You can see right here how I, I added too much pressure and it kind of smushed it out. And um, we'll, we'll go back and look at that when we go to the wheel and see how that can be adjusted. Um, for this one, let's use, um, so this is a painter's tool. You can make something like this out of credit cards or um, by cutting it, so it's just a hard plastic tool that has this um, scalloped cut out of it, and um, we'll see how this one does. I haven't used this one before. We're gonna spray it with WD-40 this time. And if you're going to drag something through clay, I, it seems to work best when I kind of put an angle to it. 
instead of holding it upright. And I like to be kind of aggressive with this. And you don't have to go straight. I could have, we could have done some arcs. In fact, we'll just kind of come across there. See what happens. <laughs> Okay, so you can tell this one has really been roughed up. Looks um, like we might have destroyed it. So we'll see how that, how that works out when we go back to the wheel. But I, mainly I don't want you to be afraid. You know, if you mess one up, it's okay. Um, sometimes really interesting things happen when you get past being careful, I think. And so you, you know, some of these interesting edges um, some of these interesting overlaps where the tools overlap and create a secondary type of um, line that you that wasn't a part of the tool. Um, sometimes those things are interesting. So don't be afraid of like really attacking the clay. And we'll do one more. Um, these little guys here are, um, I saw a, a um, demo of you know, just making little rollers out of disc of clay. So this is, this is a little disc of clay. I kind of have an indention there for where your fingers can fit and they roll. And you can just experiment and make all kinds of patterns. And if they don't work, you are out zero dollars in just a little bit of time. So we'll, we'll try um, this one here. Oh, this is good. I forgot to spray it. And so you can see, I took this dry bisque ware and I started rubbing it on the wet clay and um, now it's sticking. So it's making a mess. You can see like it's pulling up like a weird texture. Um, I don't like that. So I'm gonna stop with this one, but that, that'll give you an example of what happens. When you do that, so we're gonna we're gonna go to this piece of wood. Okay. All right, so that's our texture. Get creative. Use all kinds of different things when you make textures. Okay, guys. Um, so we have textured up our disc and we're going to now we're going to turn this the disc that we created into a, a saucer or plate form so we're going to lift that rim if you can see how the rim is lifted and this one has no texture on it um, but I wanted you to see what we're aiming for so <clears throat> we're going to take our disc that we textured we're going to come back to the wheel And we're going to try to retain um, the center texture and we're going to create a smooth rim on the outside. To do this, we're going to need some type of stiff tool. Um, you could use, depending on how much rim you're going to be bringing up, you can use something like this, like a wooden rib. Um, I'm going to be using this longer, this longer one. It's just easier for me to grab. And we're going to go up underneath and we're going to lift it up. And then we're going to just do a tiny bit of throwing to it to to finish it off, okay? So just remember, try not to touch the center. And make sure that the rim, um, the bat has some water on it. And we're just gonna go up underneath there and lift. I just slid that rib underneath, hold it for a second. This is what we've got. Now we could stop right there and actually leave the texture everywhere. I like to smooth it out. So we'll, We'll smooth this rim here. And now you get into your preferences. So if, if you're okay with organic edges, 
edges that aren't perfect, you can leave it here and you could, we could be done. We could let this dry and we could um, turn this over and trim it when it's, um, when it's leather hard. Put a foot on it and we're done. We've got us a plate. Um, let's try a different one that's a little more finished. We'll leave this one pretty organic. Okay, so again, we've got our texture. We've, we're gonna add some water to the bat. We're gonna take our wooden tool and we're just gonna slide it underneath, keeping it tight to the, keeping it tight to the bat. For this one, I'm gonna do a little bit of throwing. So I'm gonna just throw away that texture, literally. I'm just gonna pull my fingers through like I'm throwing a pot, smoothing it. For this texture, it's a little more precious. It looks um, like it should be on something that's clean. I'm gonna take a needle tool and I'm gonna trim that edge. So we've got our needle tool. We're gonna trim that and make it nice and <clears throat> circular, centered. Clean that edge up with a sponge. And continue to, you can smooth this out as much as you want if you want to create a smooth area, which I do for this. So a metal rib will clean it even further. And I'm really erasing the texture from this section of the plate. Okay. So there's another example. Now some people um, may not enjoy using this, this um, tool sliding up underneath may feel really awkward. It's also possible to um, just use your fingers and we'll attempt that here. So I'm gonna, this time I'm gonna press under with my thumb. It's gonna compress all the clay on the rib, on the rim into a thick, thick, um, now we've got this thick rim of clay and we're gonna grab that and throw that instead of just lifting up with the rib. And I like to run my fingers. You'll see my fingers kind of pause here on the inside. It's creating like a little smooth track. And then you can lay this back down. Example number three. Now this guy was one that got really roughed up when we did our texture. So this one I'm gonna kind of soften those things by just slightly wiping it down with the sponge. I just wanna take anything that might stick up and be sharp and I wanna get rid of it. Not get rid of it, I wanna soften it and um, change the edge to where it's, there's, there's rounded edges instead of um, sharp edges that would interfere when people touch this piece. I don't want it, um, I don't want it to hurt. I'm also gonna start by trimming, so I'm not fighting with this edge, just trimming a concentric circle.
For this piece, I'm going to do something a little different. Um, we've got texture going almost out to the rim. I'm going to come inside and I'm going to smooth out some, some places on the inside and just see how this works. I'm just choosing a place to erase the texture. It just has a different, gives you a different option. You could make the entire center smooth and leave a, a bigger section on the outside um, rough. We're gonna, we're gonna leave this one like that. There you go.